minimum wage workers, what is something that is against the rules for customers to do, but you aren't paid enough to actually care? I worked at a hardware store in the garden center making close to minimum wage. We often loaded heavy bags of mulch and dirt for customers in their trucks beds and whatnot. We were told that we were not allowed to take tips from customers. So being the good boy that I was, I turned down a couple tips until one day I loaded up a full customer pickup bed and he handed me a $20. I told him I can't take that and he looked me dead the eye and said, do they really pay you so much you don't need it? I stopped being an idiot that day. Why the f I let someone pay me so little and tell me I'm not allowed to make more and I listened is just embarrassing now. Worked at an auto parts store. If you weren't a prick, I'd warranty anything. We lose no money on it, and it keeps the customer happy. Now, if you were a D, who are yeah I can't do that. You're at 91 days and the warranty expires at 90 days. Used to work at a movie theater. No one cares if you bring your own snacks, although it's super aggravating if you leave your snack garbage in the theater instead of taking it out with you. We usually have an hour window where all the theaters are getting out. We tend to have about 10 minutes per theater to clean on a busy day. Leaving your garbage in your seats makes everything slower. It's not hard to carry it down to the can. Using the bathroom. If you aren't actually a customer. We are the only place open at 3 in the morning. I'm not gonna tell people to go find somewhere else. If the item doesn't have a price I'll let the customer just name it if they're nice. We are supposed to have someone check the price, but that usually takes a long ass time as everyone's busy. I save that for owls. Me. Do you remember how much this was? Situation A. Customer. I think it was X dollar sign. Me. Sounds right. Manual price entry. Situation B. Customer. No. I don't. Sorry. Me. Well. Today only it's on sale for 99 cents manual price entry. Situation C. Customer. Of course not. That's not my responsibility. This store is so horrible I don't know why I keep coming here. You're all worthless. I probably wouldn't be such an a-hole if mommy and daddy had told me they'd love me more. I don't have time for this. Don't you know who I am? Me. Pages price check. At the movie theater I used to work at, we were only supposed to give free popcorn refills to the people who bought buckets not bags. But sometimes if the person was nice to me and brought a bag up for a refill, I'd just do it. It's easier than explaining why all the time. I worked at an online diaper bag company and if a bag was returned, I was supposed to find out if it was a defect or the customer's fault to decide how to issue a replacement. When a frantic hormonal new mom would call me getting ready to rant and put her foot down, I would always interrupt their story and just ask for their address and what type of bag they wanted and ship it for free. No way am I being paid enough to get in that argument. I don't care if they were carrying large bricks in the bag. Take a new one. Years back I worked at a local chain restaurant that had a drive through one of the owners would occasionally come through and reiterate that we were to only give one ketchup packet out per order of fries at the drive through Our fry orders were huge, and one packet was nowhere near enough, so as soon as he was gone, we'd go back to throwing handfuls of ketchup packets into the bags. I worked at a deli and had the power to override the price per pound anytime I felt like it. So if a customer was upset I'd give them half off, or if they had a cool shirt, I didn't really care. I'd carry coins on me when I worked at McDonald's so if anyone came up to less than a dollar short, I'd cover it for them. I'd feel especially bad declining them if they were with a girlfriend or family or something. I know what it's like to come up short at a fast food place. One of my jobs as a teenager was working at Mars Halls. In case you all weren't aware, but having explosives in the changing room is against the rules for everyone. When they tried to get me to put on gloves to clean it up I just stood there and said no. They certainly were not paying me enough to deal with that sh**. I was working at Home Depot and there was an older guy that was checking out and ended up just pissing all over the place. I was told he just stood there for about 30 seconds as it dripped down him leg, completely embraced. He apologized and left. The head cashier called me and another guy over to clean it up. I laughed and said that biomedical waste isn't part of my job. Manager came down and told the head cashier that I was right and it was actually her job to clean it up. The look on her face was magical. 
people sleeping in their cars overnight. I consistently work night shifts and see it all the time. We are meant to tap on the window and ask them to leave, but really if someone has to sleep in their car and we have a huge empty car park, why kick someone while they're down? Movie theater attendants don't care if you enjoy an unpaid double feature, as long as you're not obvious about it. Same with outside food. They honestly don't give a damn about you bringing in a coke or a pack of chips. Used to wait tables. People couldn't bring their own drinks, booze or just water. I honestly didn't care if I saw them bring their own. Ours was way overpriced one day this obviously broke couple came in to celebrate something and they asked for tacos and a big bottle of beer but were discouraged by the price of the bottle. So I told them they could buy a bottle from the store on the other side of the street. It was half the price and if it was warm I could exchange it for one of our cold ones. I think I was too nice to people though. I've never encountered another waitress or waiter who would be as nice as I was. But meh, it felt good and the bosses could never tell. Whenever I shop at a department store, I always try to find the most disgruntled looking cashier. I've had cashiers bag things that weren't scanned. They didn't care, and I don't say anything. I used to work in a craft store slash sewing store. If you were nice and wanted a meter of fabric I would be really generous with my cuts. If you were an a-hole, and believe me many crafting people are, I would cut it at the 100 cms and give you nothing extra. Same with notions, you need bias binding, buttons, anything that I have to count out and measure, how generous my cuts, were depended 100% on your attitude. It was literally my only bit of power. Worked at Chuck E. Cheese for a while, when I first turned 16. Came in one week to the entire place smelling like sh**. Boss told me some kid took his dirty diaper and wiped it all over the machines and asked me to do his a favor. Walked out and have never returned. Not me but my boyfriend worked a store in a large mall. The store refuses to put security sensors in because it ruins the laid back vibe of the store. They wanted you to chase after shoplifters. One girl working there almost got maced. A male co-worker was threatened to be stabbed. He just didn't care and wouldn't chase. He would just tell the manager on duty what happened. Some of the managers never listened. The security in the mall is awful. So bad that a different store a friend was working at where their employees actually got attacked for trying to stop a shoplifter. That store hired their own private security to protect their employees. Nobody working minimum wage should get threatened to be fired for not chasing shoplifters who are threatening them bodily harm. Honestly, shoplifting. We aren't allowed to confront the customer. We are supposed to follow them around asking them if they need help finding anything in hopes they get nervous and leave. I don't do this, nor do I care to- I don't get paid anymore for putting myself in a position where a customer could get aggressive. Not a worker, but I was being assisted by a minimum wage worker at a chain arcade. Me and my friend were figuring out what we could afford to get from the little rewards area, and we started to sit down and begin counting. He saw us and said, no, don't worry, they don't pay me enough to care. We still felt bad, so we put some of the candy we got back. He started scanning our point cards and the rewards. We had 5 to 10 extra pieces of candy, and he was like, looks like you can't afford it. Then he slid all of the extra candy into a bag, and handed it to us. 10 tenths employee, I hope he's doing well. Take more than one trip to the salad bar. I just can't argue with one more Karen or Lisa about how it used to be all you can eat 3 years ago, before we changed it in 2015. I don't give a ref. Eat your damn salad and f off. I work as a lifeguard at a theme park. First job, and one thing some customers do, is pretend they are gonna faint, or they are having heat related problems, so they can get us to call into base, and get them free food or drinks. At minimum wage the only things I would care about are things that would get me arrested or would keep me up at night. People paying with expired coupons for anything that wasn't medication. I worked in retail pharmacy and we had to let customers make their front store purchases at the pharmacy if they wanted to. I just scanned all the expired coupons anyway because it wasn't worth the trouble of having an argument with the customer and increasing the amount of time they were on the line. Obviously with those recipe coupons it was another story, as overriding that could be considered insurance fraud. In Disney World I worked at Cirque du Soleil. 
They would throw away all the food at the end of the night but nothing got me more upset than the cotton candy. It cost them like 15 cent a bag to make, but sold it for $5.50 and they would throw it away. I used to grab bags and give them to the guests for free. Also, gave away popcorn and hot dogs and stuff. No use letting it got to waste. I'm not supposed to let people open boxes before they buy sh nor am I supposed to not let people in 5 minutes before closing. No, you won't be out in 5 minutes. You had all day to do this. Get lost. I jiveth. I tacketh away.